2024 promises to be an exciting year for the cruise industry, with several companies adding new ships to their fleets, and we list the most important. Icon of the Seas. Not only the largest cruise ship ever built, but also the first with a displacement of more than 250,000 tons, divided into eight neighborhoods, including one just for families. Royal Caribbean has stated that they have taken the best parts of all cruise ships to create the perfect vacation liner. There will be over 20 restaurants, 12 of which will be complimentary. There will be seven pools and nine hot tubs on the ship. The water park on the top deck will have six record-breaking water slides. Royal Caribbean has moved the popular aqua theater to the top of the ship. This enclosed area will become a lounge with incredible views of sailing the Caribbean. Royal Caribbean has already taken delivery of this new ship, which will sail for the first time on January 27, 2024. Icon of the Seas will be homeported in Miami and will offer week-long cruises in the Caribbean. Each cruise includes a visit to Royal Caribbean's wildly popular private island, Coco Cay. Sun Princess. The first of Princess Cruises' two sphere-class ships. Sun Princess will be the largest ship in the Princess fleet with a displacement of 175,000 tons. The class is named for the glass spheres on either side of the ship that offer ocean views from the plaza and unique balcony staterooms. The dome atop Sun Princess is a covered area inspired by the terraces of Santorini. In the evening, it will be transformed into an entertainment area with live performances. Entertainment will be available throughout the ship, from the Princess Arena, a newly designed theater, to the three-level piazza. The cruise line has also partnered with the Magic Castle to present one of the most unique experiences at sea. In addition to a small, intimate theater, there will be a Victorian-style bar where magicians will perform. Sun Princess will be the most unique princess ship at sea. With high ceilings in public areas and a three-story dining room overlooking the ship's footprint, it will feel more spacious than other ships in the fleet. Sun Princess will debut in February 2024 and cruise the Mediterranean through the fall. The ship will then move to Port Everglades and cruise the Caribbean for the winter season. Disney Treasure will be Disney Cruise Line's second wish-class ship and will debut in late 2024. Disney will bring the stories of Aladdin, Coco, and Zveropolis aboard. The ship promises unique experiences that only Disney can deliver. The Disney Treasure will feature theatrical dining experiences that bring the company's favorite movies to life. The cruise line will also bring Jumbo's Sweets Ice Cream Shop from Zveropolis on board. Aquamouse, located on the upper deck of the ship, is a two-person, 231-meter-long attraction that offers breathtaking views of the ocean and the ship. It will also feature a story about Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse's adventure in an ancient temple. Disney Treasure will set sail on its maiden voyage from Port Canaveral on December 21, 2024. The ship will sail seven-day Eastern and Western Caribbean cruises from the port. Utopia of the Seas will be Royal Caribbean's sixth and final Oasis-class ship. The Oasis-class ushered in a new era of mega-cruise ships when it debuted 14 years ago. The ship will feature all of the Oasis-class areas that Royal Caribbean guests have come to love over the past decade. She will also be the first ship in her class to be powered by liquefied natural gas. There will be more than 40 restaurants and bars, revamped pool areas, a Caribbean tiki bar, and a sushi outlet in Central Park. One of the most unique dining experiences will be the first dive into a train car at sea. Utopia of the Seas will also feature the longest dry slide at sea, the 90-meter-long Ultimate Abyss. Utopia of the Seas will be unique in offering three- and four-day cruises to the Bahamas from Port Canaveral. Three-day cruises depart on Fridays, and four-day cruises depart on Mondays. All cruises will call at Coco Cay, 
Royal Caribbean's award-winning private island. Queen Anne. In 2024, Cunard Line will celebrate its 184th anniversary by adding a fourth luxury liner to its fleet, Queen Anne. The 113,000-ton ship will carry 3,000 guests and have 15 restaurants. This will be Cunard's first new ship in 14 years. Queen Anne will take West End Theatre to the high seas. The ship's Royal Court Theatre will open with a live performance reflecting the elegance and grandeur of the great Art Deco concert halls. Queen Anne will embark on her maiden voyage on May 10, 2024, returning to her home port of Southampton. However, the ship will offer several cruises from other European ports over the next few years. The ship will visit more than 60 destinations in 16 countries. Ilma. The 240-meter yacht will feature 224 suites, each with a private terrace. The ship will accommodate a maximum of 448 guests and will offer innovative luxury travel from the Ritz-Carlton. The experience aboard Ilma will reflect the unparalleled lifestyle and legendary service for which the Ritz-Carlton brand is known, including state-of-the-art technology and five restaurants. Ilma will sail to some of the most desirable destinations in the Caribbean, Mediterranean, Central America, and South America. Silver Ray. Silver Sea, the ultra-luxury cruise line of the Royal Caribbean Group, will introduce its second Nova-class ship, Silver Ray, in 2024. The ship will carry 700 guests and will enter service in the summer of 2024. The ship will have a seat-to-guest ratio of 75 tons per passenger and will set a new standard for a cruise line committed to zero emissions cruising. We'll feature an innovative asymmetrical design and horizontal layout, with public spaces and suites running the length of the ship.